Thanks for joining me again. This is Jose Villablanca, a holistic lifestyle coach and a personal trainer. Now today I'm going to talk to you about spot reduction. What is spot reduction? Basically, it's trying to exercise a certain area, troubled area, to burn fat. So for example, if you feel like you need to lose some weight and burn the fat around your midsection or your belly, you're going to do crunches until you feel that burn. Well, that doesn't mean that burning sensation around your belly is burning the fat around your belly. It just means that you are building lactic acid around your abdominals, the muscles itself. So you're working the muscles that's underneath the fat tissue. And I'm going to show you the three different studies that show that spot reduction is a myth. Now, a lot of people think to this day that spot reduction works, but it really doesn't. So here's the first study. Now what they did was they put 13 male subjects and they made them do 5,000 sit-ups over 27 days. Now at the end of the study, the subject lost equally in all three sites measured. So the abdomen, the glutes, and the upper back. Although they only worked their abs and they lost fat all over despite only doing sit-ups. So again, to rephrase that, they only did sit-ups and 5,000 of them over 27 days but yet they lost some weight or fat tissue around the abs, the glutes, and the upper back. Now let's go to the second study. So they had a group of women, the researchers had a group of women doing mostly leg exercise for almost nine hours each week and they lost an average of 5.7 pounds of fat. They lost 2.9 from the trunk, 2.8 from the arms, and zero from the thighs. The leg workout resulted in zero fat loss from their thighs. So just as remarkable, they lost fat from their arms, even though they didn't even do any arm exercises. So this is the second study that's showing you that spot reduction doesn't work. What I'm trying to say here is that you cannot burn fat in a local area. You burn fat all around your area, and usually you burn the fat where it's mostly deposited. So if you say that you have most fat around your belly, that's where most of it will come up first. And here is the third and last study. So world-class tennis players were tested in the study with the premise that if spot reduction worked, the tennis players would have one arm leaner than the other arm because they have a dominant arm that they use more forcefully than the other while playing tennis. This study showed that working a certain muscle does not necessarily affect fat deposits that may be lying above the muscle. So a lot of women ask me if they do more thigh exercises, they hope to burn more thigh fat, which is not true based on the three studies that I just showed you. And another great example is if people who eat a lot tend to chew a lot, they should have skinny faces, right? While people who don't eat much because they don't chew much should have fat faces. Now that's just a lighter side of things, but all I'm trying to say here is that there's no such thing as spot reduction. You're just sculpting the muscle underneath the fat tissue. So what you really need to do is just burn fat all over the area by having a full body workout, eating the right types of food, and then everything else will follow. And that's when you can start to see a leaner body. So for more great information, I highly suggest emailing me today with any questions you may have. I'll be happy to make a presentation on how to answer your questions. So it's holisticjose at gmail.com. Feel free to follow me at Instagram as well. That's at holisticjose. Join my Facebook page, just search Holistic Jose on Facebook and join my private group where you could download free files. So just again, look up Holistic Jose under groups on Facebook. Thanks and I hope to have you at my next presentation. Bye now.